Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an email sequence in System.io. Now this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so if you wanna follow along, make sure you pause the video as you complete the steps. And just before we get started, if you haven't yet got started with System.io, I have got a free bonus training course that I'm currently selling that I'm gonna to give to all people who use my affiliate link in the description. So go ahead and use that, it's free to get started, and I'll give you through that course. Okay, so first of all, what you wanna do is jump into your system.io dashboard. You also wanna come across to the tab which says emails and come down to campaigns. So click on that and it's going to open your uh, email campaigns tab. Now what you wanna do is come to the top right and click on campaign or create, sorry, and you wanna name your new email sequence. So I'm just gonna call this a YouTube email sequence, right? Um, just so I can reference it later. And this is going to be a description in this sequence, I'll teach you how to use email marketing inside of system, okay? Something like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead, click on save campaign, and now our new sequence has been added. So go ahead, click on that, and you'll notice that this is empty. So what we wanna do inside of here is actually start filling out uh, the different types of emails that we wanna fill inside of our sequence. Now this is a very, very simple tutorial. It doesn't take very long. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, come to the top right, click on add an email. It's going to say, um, what's your sender name? So if you wanna say it's from your personal name or you wanna call it your brand, it's entirely up to you. Your sender email address. Now these by default can be set up inside of your settings tab if you haven't yet done it. And inside your subject, what you wanna do is write the subject of your email. So I could say, um, congratulations, you're in with the uh, funnel scene family, right? So this might be, say, a uh, an introduction for a newsletter, right? So if someone opts in for a newsletter, they get this email. And now you've got two different types of ways you can edit it. If you like using drag and drop builders, we have here two different templates you can use, right? So the two main differences between these templates is one has got a gray background with a boxed sort of layout. The second one is just completely white. That's entirely up to you how you wanna do it. I personally believe the classic editor just has that little bit more sort of appeal. When I see emails that are in the classic editor, there's no fancy um, pictures or anything like that. It makes it feel like the person's actually writing to me. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you both of these examples. The first one I'll show you though is the classic editor. It's extremely easy to use. So let me go ahead, click on create and create our first email. So here we are, that has now loaded. As you can see, we've got our subject here. You can easily change it inside of here as well. We've also got our sender address, our sender name, and then we've got our blank box. Now here is the default footer I currently have on this um, account. So if you want to change that, you can also change it inside of this button here, which will take you back to settings. If you like it the way it is, that's completely fine. Now we also have some attributes on the right, right? Some substitutes, which basically means if you've asked for particular information from this person, you can then reuse it in your emails to personalize the messages. For example, if I wanted to, um, if I was collecting people's first names and their email addresses, what I could do is I could say, hey, and then I'll come across to the right and I'll just highlight this text, right? First name, and I'll paste that in there. And what this now means is if someone opts into my list, the first email they're going to get, is gonna say, hey, and then it's gonna um, include their name. Let's just say their name is Jeff. It's gonna say, hey, Jeff. It's pretty cool, right? And it's gonna put it in exactly how they add it. So if it's got some interesting sort of uh, accents on top of the letters, it's also gonna include those. Now what you wanna do is just type out your email, right? It's really quick and simple. So I could just say, um, welcome to the funnel scene family i might actually just pause the video and write something out quickly okay so we are done so i've actually decided i'm going to use this as a uh, an actual email newsletter that goes out right so i'm going to create a funnel for it so people can opt in and then they can also um, go ahead and get this right away so now that I've, I've wrote it out i've changed the subject slightly and added all this information in what we want to do is just style it a bit so i'm just going to add in a few bold sort of um, options at the top. We can also add in some links. So for example, what I'm gonna do is add in a link to my um, current course that I have going, right, to help incentivize some sales. So we've already got the HTTP here. I'm gonna choose S and then put in funnelscene.com, right? Like so, click on okay. Now we have a link. 
and uh, you can just add in bits and pieces about what you want but I think that's pretty much all I need I only want one call to action in this email which of course is that because I want people to check out my course so that is done if you want to add attachments as well you can on the right I probably don't recommend adding attachments unless uh, people are actually requesting them it doesn't really make sense and sometimes it can get flagged as spam but what we can do is go ahead click save and test email right so it's been sent so I'm just gonna wait a few moments and uh, open it when it appears okay so that literally took like two seconds but now it is here and as you can see it looks a lot better than it actually does in this editor we've got all the spacing um, right and everything like that now you probably notice it's still got the first name here that's just because it's a test I haven't given them a name to use for the opt-in when you actually try it live it's going to say the name that's added and you'll also notice two things at the bottom we've got an unsubscribe button which you can actually customize once again in the settings tab and we've also got this sent with system.io now this is a personal preference for you guys if you are an affiliate marketer if you want to potentially generate commissions from sending out emails as well as things like sales funnels you can leave these in and it's actually already connected to your affiliate account if I hover over it you can see the um, the link here has got quite a big string after it that's my personal affiliate link so I'm gonna leave it on all of my emails if someone clicks on it they sign up for free then I'm going to be attributed um, to that person any sales they make I will get commission from if you want to get rid of it though once again it's inside settings go to mail settings scroll down to the bottom and then it's going to have the information in fact let me just show you I've gone ahead and opened the tab I just needed to skip some of the personal information in these ones but here we have here the mailing settings and as you can see um, we've got you know the sender email the sender name so I'm actually going to change this just to show you how it's easily done we've got the test email address so every time you send out a test this is where it's going to be sent to and we've also got automatically send a test email when saving a newsletter this is just another safety precaution to make sure you see it inside here we've got a static footer and I'm going to show you how you can edit this in future videos make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see that and then once again we talked about the affiliate link if you don't want to add it just uncheck it click on save and it'll disappear and also the unsubscribe button if I bring back my email quickly you'll see it's just this here if you want to say something like stop receiving um, emails from me what it's going to do is instead of having unsubscribe like I've got on my one here it's going to say stop receiving emails from me but it's also going to be hyperlinked just to look like this one here let's get back to the email now I've, I'm happy with it I'm gonna go ahead click Save and publish right and it says here delay before sending email I just want to send this maybe uh, one minute after people opt in right so as soon as they opt in it's going to delay it by a minute and then it's going to send it the reason I want to delay it by a minute is majority of the time if you're creating an email sequence um, when they opt in they're going to get redirected to another page so instead of taking them away from that other page which might have more calls to action I want to just give them a minute to go through the page if they're interested they can continue if not then they can just collect the email in a minute that's basically it now we also have a couple of options here time when email should be sent if you want to send emails at a specific time you highlight that you choose the time and the part of day and the same thing goes for days and weeks some people don't like sending emails on the weekend that's entirely up to you I believe as soon as someone puts in their name and email they want that information there and then and then I just go ahead and click on publish and guess what our first email has been done now what we want to do if we want to create another email is go ahead and follow the same exact process right so add another email right this time I'll use the visual editor I'm gonna call this um, did you know I create loads or oh, do you want my free tutorials and training right and this time I'm gonna use a visual editor this one here looks pretty good so I'm gonna click on create Okay, and I'll quickly show you how the visual editor works. It's really simple. I love how they've done it. So on the left, we have two different types of elements, right? We've got content and we've also got layout. So the content is pretty self-explanatory, right? If you want images, if you want text, if you want a button or if you want to divide a line, all you need to do is simply just drag it and drop it where you can see the dark blue line and that's where it's going to land. So let me just show you. If I wanted an image there, this is what it appears like. And all you need to do is click upload file and it's going to either load your um, your current files or you can upload one personally right so let's just say this was the image I want to use there it now is 
And if you wanted to redirect people from clicking on that link, sorry, that image to a link, you can also just click on it and change it there. So that's how you add in images. It's extremely easy. You can't really go wrong, right? Same thing with text, same thing with buttons. It's pretty cool having buttons inside. You can also customize them how you want. So that's well and easy. Horizontal line is more of like a splitting, right? So you can see it's just got a nice little horizontal line there. Very simple. There's not, no, not much uh, need to show you how that works. The other thing though that's inside here is the columns, right? So we've got section, columns, uh, two columns, three columns, four columns. I'm just going to show you what a two does. So just drag it onto the page once again, drag it where you want it to go. And if you click inside of the uh, elements, so drag and drop your elements here, you can either drag it or click on it. And then all the elements are inside here as well. So it's super easy guys. That is basically how it's done. So I'm just going to leave this one as is. I'm not going to use this inside of my sequence as I like the um, the custom ones, sorry, the, the plain ones. But once again, if you want to change anything, you just type inside of here what you want to put in your email. So um, type here your text here, whatever. It's just a demo to give you an idea. If you want to change the font, highlight the font you want to change, come to font on the left and you've got all these different options. Okay. If you want to change the size, there's all the sizes here. If you want to add in the custom variables as well, right? So once again, hey, and then what I can do is click choose the replacement and then put in say first name, then it's going to add it there. Okay. So it's all very easy to use, right? There's nothing um, too difficult about it. If you want to add in links, click the link button. We've got bold, italics, underlined, strike through, and everything like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory. What I'm going to do is um, go ahead, click on save changes, and then click on exit. And now it's going to bring us to this page here, like we saw before. This is just a little preview of how it looks. And then once again, if you want to come inside here, you can save and test. But let's just say I'm happy with it. Click save and publish. And what you want to do is just choose the time where the second email sends, right? So we've already waited a minute for the previous one to go. So I probably don't want to send one right away. So I might wait one day and then click on publish. Now look what happens, delay. So to give you an idea of what the delay means, if you click on it on that little question mark, it says delay since the previous email was sent to the contact delay since the contact opt into their first email. So once again, this is going to be sent after the first minute and then a day later, this is going to be sent. Now, if you wanted to just speed up the process a bit, right? Let's just say you wanted to use the same template. Maybe you've created a visual template and you would want to just use the same thing. What you can do is just click on duplicate, right? And then what it's going to do is open up the same template inside of here. All you need to do is obviously change the subject and then go ahead and change the content. And to do that, you just come and cross over it. If you're using the visual builder, you just need to click on the email and it's going to go ahead, bring up the editor. Once again, fill out the content. Now, just for this example, I'm going to just change the subject just so you can see the differences. So I'm going to say, um, um, here is my latest gift to you, my free ebook, something like that, right? Click on save and publish. Once again, you probably want to test it. And now we've got here delay before sending email. So once again, I'm going to choose uh, days and I'm going to choose one and then click on publish. Now, what you can see is when they first enter the sequence, they start off with this one, one minute later, they're going to get sent it. One day later after that, they're going to send this email. One day after that, they're going to be sent this email and so forth, right? So you can create as many as you want. You don't have to space it out by one day or one minute. It could be two days, could be 10 minutes. It could be five hours, whatever it might be. This is how you create the sequences, right? It's super easy. And then all you need to do is connect it to a funnel. And let me just show you how connecting it to a funnel works. So I've just pulled up a example funnel that I've created here. And all you want to do is choose your page where they subscribe to your list, come to automation rules, click on add rule, and then click on funnel step form subscribed. Okay. Click on add action and then choose subscribe to campaign and then find your campaign, which is going to be my YouTube email sequence. And then click on save rule. And now you have completed your email sequence. You've completed your automation and now your funnel is going to work. That's how easy it is, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. It's super simple how it works and it works flawlessly. That's it for my video, guys. Once again, if you want to learn how to build more than just an email sequence in system.io, you want some free templates, you want some um, great training around building courses, everything like that, how to sell courses, 
go on ahead and check out funnelscene.com. I've got my entire course there. The price is going to go up in a little bit, so make sure you check it out. And if you haven't yet got started with System, I've also left some information in the description how you can get that course for free. That's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I'm still going to be dropping loads of great training and tutorials for System.io, as well as sales funnels in general. So go ahead, click subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.